When receiving your order, verify that you received everything you requested. Match up the packing list to the contents of the package or packages to what you requested. You should have received the correct number of cans and regulators grab connectors. If doing personal sampling, you will also receive tubing and belt holsters. The mini cans come in two different sizes, 400 cc and one liter. You can also have two different sampling setups, instant grab or integrated. Either size can be used for either type of sampling. However, if you will be sampling for more than eight hours, you should use the one liter size can. And if you are going to take a personal exposure sample, you should use the 400 cc size with the tubing and belt holster combination. Here's a tip for all sampling events. Do not sample if relative humidity is greater than 50 percent. Take the can and grab regulator to the sampling location. This could be a manhole, cabinet, office, carpet, or something else. Remove the protective cover from the mini can sample intake stem. Point and hold the can at the spot where you want to collect your sample. Hold the grab regulator in the other hand and slide back the collar. Insert the can's sampling tip into the grab regulator and release the collar. Or if you have one of the grab regulators that do not connect to the stem, just slip the regulator over the stem and hold for one minute. Tips. Do not wear cologne or perfume when you perform the sampling. It could interfere with the sample results. Make sure there is no gap between the regulator and can. If there is, the regulator is not seated and you will need to remove and reposition the regulator. You may or may not hear the vacuum pulling in the sample. This will take 20 to 30 seconds to complete. Another tip. Wait one minute to be sure the sample collection is complete. When done, pull back the collar of the regulator and remove the regulator from the can. If using the regulator that does not attach, simply remove the regulator. Recap the inlet stem of the can and label the sample with your sample ID and date. Prepare the chain of custody and repack to ship back to Galson Laboratories. Take the can and regulator to the sample location. The can should be placed and secured where you would like to collect your sample. Remove the can's protective cap from the can's inlet stem. Pull back the collar on the regulator and insert the regulator into the can's inlet stem and release the collar. Tips. Do not wear cologne or perfume when you perform the sampling. It could interfere with the sample results. Make sure there is no gap between the regulator and the can. If there is, the regulator is not seated and you will need to remove and reposition the regulator. The gauge should show 25 to 30 inches of vacuum, and sampling has started and will continue for the entire sampling period for which the regulator was set up when you placed your order. Tips. The vacuum gauge is to be used as a visual aid to show you the can was under vacuum when ready to collect your sample. The gauge will go down periodically throughout the day as you collect your sample. It may not go to zero at the end of the sampling period, and it may go down at varying speeds. Do not let this worry you. Do not wear perfume or cologne during sampling. When your sampling period is over, remove the regulator by pulling back the collar and slipping it off the can's inlet stem. Replace the protective cap, label the sample, and fill out the chain of custody. Repack and return everything to Galson Labs. If you are going to take a personal exposure sample, you should use the 400 cc size with the tubing and belt holster combination. Place the can in the belt holster and clip to the worker. Pin the sampling tube to the lapel of the worker and attach the regulator to the can. When your sampling period is over, remove the regulator by pulling back the collar and slipping it off the can's inlet stem. Replace the protective cap, label the sample, and fill out the chain of custody. Repack and return everything to Galson Labs. Then, complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat, 303-566-7000.